hi everyone thank you once again for stopping by my channel um god bless you um so finally uh, we get restored back to back on youtube after two weeks of strike um at least we continue to preach the gospel of the kingdom as long as um before it becomes uh, incorrect to do that and before they begin to take down our videos and all that for preaching jesus and him crucified praise the lord so what are we talking about this morning very very short video and um it's just been i've just been meditating on it the soul of a man what can i give in exchange for my soul jesus was asking what can a man give in exchange for his soul the bible made us to understand that there was a rich man this man was so rich that he his his, his farm or his, his, his he yielded a hundred a thousand folds of grain that year and then he filled up he stocked up his barn and stocked up his barn and then he said to himself oh um my soul relax rejoice oh i've taken care of tomorrow there's no worry for me it's not left for me to enjoy and then um, um because my you know it's <laughs> all that's left for me now is just as what what do i lack i've stored up my storehouse this money in my account a beauty house my children are okay i have a good job i've got this i've got that oh my soul just relax because look all you have to do is now from now on begin to enjoy and what have you not beloved that i made us to understand that that night the lord appeared to the rich fool and said to him you fool this night your soul will be required of you and so it is to everyone the same word that God speaks to one, he speaks to all. What can you as a person give in exchange for your soul? When men are to travel, when people travel or prepare to travel for the summer here, people make arrangements. They take over, sometimes over a year, people are making arrangements for their next summer summer journey. I mean, their summer holidays and what have you not. And um, even here, even with the lockdowns and what have you not, people are really already trying to book for summer and what have you not because the there's the hint of um the lockdowns being you know relaxed so people are preparing so much for summer holidays how they will go and sunbirth and what have you know lie in the sun and how they like, you know visit friends family enjoy their lives and what have you not but you know that most of the time we do not pay the same attention to our soul we pay attention to every mundane thing in this life but not to our soul we wake up every day striving to get money striving to think of the next business idea trying to put you know to do all that we can just to show society that we also have made it or can make it or we can get there praise the lord we go to our places of work and what have you know but prepare we prepare for this we prepare for seminars we prepare for programs we prepare for this and prepare for that and prepare for this and prepare for that it's a circle every other day every other week every other year but most often people hardly pay attention to their soul where will i spend eternity we don't pay attention we don't prepare our soul there's so much field there. It's from the souls. It's from it's from there that gossip, malice, wickedness, fornication, adultery, evil thoughts, imaginations, and what have you know. That is where they spring forth from. But we do not. We've not. We people could people just have a form of God. The outward the people feel that the outward Christianity or godliness is okay. Beloved, it is not okay. If you prepare for every other thing in this life and you miss preparing your soul, it's going to be a tragedy at the end of the day. Remember, we are all on life's train. Every human in this world, we're all aboard the life train. When you get to your station, you will drop. You cannot exceed your station. You will have no choice but to drop when you get to your station. And when that time comes, it is not what you've 
built in this temporal world that is not even your home that you are taking so much time wasting so much energy on it is the eternal one that, that will not die your soul you care you you pay little or no attention to all of those emotions to all of those cravings to all of those greed covetousness name it and what have you not you don't pay attention you are not crying out to God right now to say, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me. For I'm still full of the Adamic nature. Deliver me. So most people do not, they pay little or no attention to the soul. But beloved, when your train gets to its station, it's going to pack and you are going to drop down. And that's the day you say goodbye to this world. What are you going to appear before the living God with? The Bible made us to understand it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. This is a call, a wake-up call. It's not to judge anyone. It's not to be here to show anyone or tell anyone that, oh, this one I'm better than you now. I'm striving day and night. We are all striving day and I hope you are. It is time to put aside the temporal. It is time to put aside the cares of this world and the things that we've been pursuing and begin to take care and begin to cry out to the one who can deliver our soul. Praise the Lord. After salvation comes the deliverance of the soul. Praise God. You have to. Don't be like the rich fool. Preparing everything they could, he could prepare for this temporal world but forgetting his soul. God called him a fool. You don't want to end up being a fool or like that merchant or that rich man. We want to be people who, like David, asked, Lord, teach me to number my days that I may apply my heart unto what? Wisdom. May God bless you once again and have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.